Did you know that at the beginning of the universe, there was a time when stars and galaxies did not yet exist? It was an era that was completely shrouded in darkness, and we ask ourselves today, what is hidden in the darkness at the beginning of time? The dark ages of the universe could give us answers to the most pressing questions of our existence. And with the new technological possibilities, we are closer than ever to unraveling this mysterious epoch. Imagine a universe that is already indescribably vast, and within it are swaths of hot gases, some dust. There is still no solid matter and no light. Everything is dark and silent. We are in the middle of the dark ages of the cosmos, when stars were not yet born and when mysterious processes initiated what we can describe as the birth of light in the cosmos. Let's look at the birth of the first stars. This most monumental phase in the history of the universe marks the transition from a dark, nebulous void to a sparkling, vibrant cosmos. In this era, which probably began around 100 million years after the Big Bang, the first stars formed. Gravity pulled gases and dust together and condensed them until conditions in their cores were hot and dense enough to herald nuclear fusion. These first stars were true giants, much more massive and luminous than anything we know in our universe today. These bright blue supergiant stars probably had only a short life cycle. After their explosion, they hurled the first heavy elements into the environment in huge supernova explosions. And it was precisely from these elements that more stable generations of stars were formed, which ultimately made the formation of planets and ultimately life possible. But darkness also persisted in the universe. It still makes up a large part of the universe today, and researchers suspect that darkness holds the answers to some of science's most pressing questions. What is hidden in the darkness? Let me tell you a story a story about darkness that may be much more than we generally imagine. When we look out into the cosmos at night, we see thousands of tiny stars and above all, darkness. Between the individual stars, which are incredibly far apart, there are gigantic spaces of nothingness or blackness. We also know of fascinating dark phenomena in the cosmos such as voids, huge areas of the universe that are almost completely devoid of stars and galaxies. One of the best-known voids is the Botus Void, which looks like a complete emptiness. The Botus Void is a region that measures 330 million light-years in diameter, and thus accounts for around 0.2% of the entire observable universe. There are only around 60 galaxies in this vast space, which should actually be home to thousands of galaxies. This unusual discovery naturally raised questions about the origin and nature of such empty spaces in the universe. Initially, researchers made a crucial mistake. They thought that structures were completely absent in voids. But this is not true. Even in the voids, of which the Botus Void is just one, there are structures. We just can't see them, because it's very dark in these spaces due to the absence of stars and galaxies. In fact, it will most likely be these truly dark structures that will one day explain to us the secrets of the earliest times of the universe. To find out the true meaning of darkness, we must look wherever darkness prevails. That is either in the voids of the cosmos, in the dark ages at the beginning of time, or at the edge of the observable universe. Can we find the truth at the edge of darkness? If we travel a little further to the edge of the observable universe and to the limits of what we can capture with our telescopes and instruments, we finally reach the limits of our capacity for knowledge. Here. At the edge of darkness, there are probably more secrets just waiting to be discovered by us. These areas are not only separated from us by their vast distance, but the limits of our current scientific and technological capabilities also separate us from these mysterious areas of the cosmos. With our telescopes, we currently survey a radius of around 46.5 billion light years, which means that we are able to observe a total area of 93 billion light years. We have not yet found an end to the material universe, but the majority of researchers are of the opinion that this end must exist. These hypothetical edges of the observable universe are probably not a physical barrier. Rather, it could be a boundary of light and darkness. Beyond this boundary could be areas that would always be unobservable to us because of the lack of light. If we could nevertheless travel there and observe our illuminated universe from this magical threshold, we might gain insights into how our universe is really formed 
This would allow us to draw further conclusions about its composition and structure, and we could perhaps find out from what source it was created and where its actual beginnings lay. But the fact is, we can't get to that point at the moment, and it may not even exist. The idea that our universe could be infinite in terms of time and space is not yet completely off the table. Hidden Worlds of Dark Matter Let's now delve into the worlds of dark matter together. Dark matter is a term that sounds mysterious, and that is exactly what this substance is. Dark matter makes up about 85% of all matter in the universe. It's an invisible form of matter. We only know that it's matter at all by its weight. But if dark matter is obviously real matter that just doesn't emit or absorb light, it also means that there may be structures or shapes there that we just can't see. Only the gravitational effect that dark matter exerts on visible matter and light reveals its existence. Let's just imagine that there is a dark universe, a parallel world made up of dark matter that runs through our own world but is invisible. In this dark universe, structures could exist that resemble our galaxies and star systems. However, these objects are completely invisible to our eyes and measuring methods. Theoretically, there could be entire galaxies of dark matter floating through the apparent cosmic void. Even forms of dark life could exist in this hidden world, possibly life forms based on a completely different kind of chemistry that we can barely imagine. These beings would live in a reality that exists parallel to our own, but never or only weakly interacts with it. They would be a bit like the ghosts of the cosmos existing in the shadows of dark matter. The idea of such a dark universe is both fascinating and terrifying. What would it mean if one day we were to find a way to interact with this dark world? Researchers in particle accelerators, such as the CERN facility in Geneva, Switzerland, are trying to find out what dark matter really is. They have found such exotic particles as WIMPs or axions. WIMP stands for Weakly Interacting Massive Particles, and axions are mysterious particles that interact only weakly with the matter we know. These terms show very clearly that this matter really does exist and that it's somehow connected to our world, but not in the way that our current physics can grasp. Making contact thanks to radio astronomy. If we want to explore the darkest and most mysterious corners of the universe, we are left with a secret weapon of science, radio astronomy. It may be that there was no light in space for hundreds of thousands of years, and that the Big Bang was also dark and lightless. But almost all events in our cosmos generate waves and we can pick up these waves with gigantic radio telescopes, even if they are billions of years old. So, we can still gain insights into the dark ages and dark corners and spheres of our cosmos if we listen. The best radio telescopes on Earth are located in Chile and New Mexico. The Atacama Large Millimeter slash Submillimeter Array, or ALMA for short, consists of 66 individual antennas that are specialized in capturing signals in the millimeter and submillimeter wavelength range. This makes the radio telescope ideal for studying cold objects in the universe. The very large array consists of 27 independent radio telescopes, each measuring 25 meters in diameter. The VLA covers a wide frequency range and is used by astronomers to observe phenomena such as black holes, neutron stars, galaxies, and our sun. These radio telescopes have already provided us with important clues about what is happening on the threshold between the dark and light ages in the universe. Scientists refer to the end of the dark ages as reionization. The process began about 150 million years after the Big Bang and lasted until about a billion years after the Big Bang. The first stars were formed during reionization. This brought light into the cosmos, but the universe was probably still a cloudy soup at that time so that the light from the stars did not travel very far, as is the case with strong fog. However, the ionizing radiation from the stars caused the neutral hydrogen atoms to lose their electrons, making the universe more permeable and transparent. These processes changed the entire chemical composition of the universe and allowed light to move freely through space. Light was able to propagate and led to further transformations in the still young cosmos. These were decisive moments in cosmic history the universe changed from a dark, opaque state to a transparent, luminous state. These transitions are still little researched areas of science, but they are fascinating. Radio astronomical observations, 
even allow us to map the distribution and properties of hydrogen in the universe during reionization. This allows us to create a map of what happened in that distant time, understand how the first sources of light shaped and changed the universe, and draw other important conclusions about how what we know today as our universe evolved. But radio astronomy can do much more. It is an indispensable tool for researching dark phenomena, such as black holes and dark matter. Black holes do not emit light either, but the matter that falls into them generates strong radio waves that are picked up by radio telescopes. The gravitational effect of dark matter on cosmic structures can be indirectly detected by radio observations, and radio astronomy thus opens a window to the most hidden secrets of the universe. Click on subscribe now, there are many more exciting videos to come.